Hello everyone and welcome back to the IBL. How topical that it is raining right here, Area Zero, considering our matchup this week is against a Politoed. Week 8 of the IBL, we are facing Rose, the actual owner of the League of the IBL, and his Las Vegas Rotom. He's back in a very terrifying rain team with Swiftflim over Quill, Politoed, and Archaladon. Uh, so I'm scared. But this is going to be a very important week, all things considered, because if we win this, we do a slight chance of making it into playoffs. Even though it's been a bit of a rough season for us, we're hoping to make a bit of a turnaround right now. Tusk, Terra, Zelf? Really? Flapple and... No Archaladon. Okay, then. Okay, then. Fair enough. All right, in that case... No more channel. So he's got one stealth. So that means that he's probably going to be leading the ASL or he's going to be leading the language. Okay, that's good. Uh, glad I brought Glaceon. Glad I didn't bring um, Rillaboom. Alright. Um, yeah, I, I guess we can just go this way? No. Um... He's going to probably try and Dragon Dance with the thing, so he's probably going to be leading off with either the Azelf or the... You know, is Azelf or Tusk, I think, is probably his best lead. Nope. No. No Overquill, no Polytoy. I just realized that. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, that kind of uh, messes up a couple of my plans. Glad I didn't bring Hurricane. Uh, yeah, I can... No, no, no. Okay, here we go. We just go with this one. We go to safe play. All right, we go this way. Uh, I was actually debating leading the Glaceon, but I opted not to go and do that. All right. All right, let's see. Dale Rotamo, all right. Great Tuff, uh, not Great Tuff, Torno Man. Um, he's probably going to be either you. He's probably going to Volt Switch or what is he? Is he Scarf? Is he what is he on this one? Let's see what he's got on this. Um, let's, this will reveal what he is. This will reveal what he is. I don't think he outs. He would need a. He'd need a Scarf and some speed investment. Okay, I do outspeed him. Okay. Okay, you turn. That is defensive investment. That's what, like twenty-five percent. Yeah, that's that. Um, I. I think I should be fairly okay to go into. Latias here. Could be a bit of a mistake, but I think Latias is kind of an okay, because no Archaladon, so I'm glad I didn't go Haban. Yep, ah, uh, should have gone into Exca. Like, I mean, it would... I mean, I should have gone into Exca, but I, I, I didn't want to risk that. Because, I mean, I didn't know if he would have had some sort of, um... I don't know, some sort of, uh... Like, bur well, burn pack, that was probably standard on it. Alright, what is, what is this? Is this going to be Enamorous? I'm thinking this is going to be an Enamorous turn... That's probably an Amorous. Oh, Azel! Okay. Question is, what is this? Is it gonna be U turn? How much does U turn do to me? Yeah, U turn does like. A decent amount. Um, let's. Go oh, Mist Ball? U turning, okay. Oh, that is... That is probably banded. That, that is either banded or very, very... Fi no, that's banded. That has to be banned or expert belt. Okay. Oh, please tell me. I I can get a, a Mist Ball special, uh, special attack drop. Please tell me this is a Mist Ball special attack drop on this. So that has to be... That, that, that's banded. That is a very banded. Ooh, crit! Lefty. Okay, not, not, not. Okay.
All right. That did... Okay, how much ore speed do we have now? He's at what, like... Some, some? Yeah, that won't do a whole lot, All right. Um... I... I... Yeah, I, th I think we just go for this. I think we go for this. See what he, see what he does. Spin. <gasps> oh, I know he's gonna beat me now. Now, now he's gonna outspeed me. Now he's gonna outspeed me. Yeah, that's. Well, I mean, going in Lias was kind of not really much here. Uh, maybe he thinks I switch out here. Maybe he thinks I switch out here. That's it. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So he he did take out Latias. He did take out Ladia, unfortunately, so he has lefties. Um, I know he has Ice Beam normally, and Earth Power normally. Um, he's still got Rotom Mo in the- he's still got Rotom Mo, so I still kind of want to keep something with that. Um, I think in this case... We go Tyranitar. Because we are again we are mold breaker excadrill. So we're not really in too big of a, a spot of bother problem. When it comes to uh the other things, unless he's going like body press. Like I know I know that this thing does get body press, but I do have um I do have a chopel. So I'm gonna try and knock this thing out of here. Well, I'm trying to knock it off, and then I'm trying to, you know, get rid of that, that lefties. Um, he's at, like, what, 50%? He's at, like, what, 45%? Yeah. Um. Yeah, that should... Yeah, the sand and the knockoff probably should take him out. Because we have a drawing. What's, what's getting knocked off now? Please tell me something big is getting knocked off. Ooh, he's getting knocked off on this. I should have gone for Ice Beam, actually, if I have Ice Beam for this. It, he's not Booster! Grassy seed. Oh, that was for boom. Okay. That was for really boom. All right. Uh, wait. Would Great Tusk at close combat get knocked out? That would. Uh, th this, this is going to be really stupid. But this is going to be really stupid. But I kind of want to do this, just to see if maybe it, it works. I, I, th this is a big risk. But who knows if it works or not. Knock off. Okay. Well, that's my go with my chapel. But I have Ice Beam on you now. It's gone! A crit. Okay. Great Tusk is gone. From a crit ice beam. Nice work, Tyranitar. Got that uh, atomic breath of doom. Okay, that's that's good. That is that is very good. Okay. Uh, Enamorous is probably coming in because I mean at this range I'm pretty sure a close combat ends me. Not close combat. Uh, superpower. Enamorous. Yep. This is a this is a contrary to superpower. Enamorous. Ah, uh, let's go see. Let's see the superpower end me. There's a slight chance it does take me out. There's a very slight chance it does take me out. Um, the slight chance it does. I am going into. Uh, I think we go safe and we go Volk. I think we play it safe when we go into Volcanion, because Tyranitar is, like, now that, uh, the Big Scary and, yep, okay, Torn would have been the better call there, yeah, Torn would have been the far better call there, 
but... Yeah, no, we go down here. We, we go down... Oh. He's not scuffed. Okay, so he's, he's, he's lefties. Okay. Very lefties. Okay. Um, I mean, we lose we lose this here, unfortunately. I mean, we don't go Bleak Windstorm, unfortunately. What? Oh! We survive! So we outspeed. And it's gone anyway. Okay. Let's go. Y you really should have gone for... Oh, wait. He probably thought I was going to switch into Torn, which, I, which you know what? That's smart. Fair enough. Um, I, I thought Volk was just gone here, and I was going to have to go basically get lucky on that, but nope, that, okay, that's, that's, I thought that was, um, okay, lucky, okay. Good work on you, Volk. Good work on you, Volcano Man. Let's go, 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 go. Uh, I probably could have kept, well, no, I actually know it would have been good to keep Tarantar in there. Because that was a big risk and calculator risk. I mean, it would have shrugged off that uh, weather ball anyways. That's at least good. Um, he's probably going to be bringing in Azelf and maybe Rocks. Because right now, his only Rocker at this point is Azelf. So I don't need to worry as heavily about the Azelf. And that's 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 Terrapagos. Um... Yeah, I mean, I feel there's no reason not to just go for this, because, again, I'm going to let Volcanion go down. Um, I mean, I, I mean, Rapid Spin probably... Does Rapid Spin enemy here? Oh, okay, Earth Power. Okay, okay so he doesn't, he doesn't spin. Okay. Um. Well, now we bring in Torn, and now Torn just blasts him. Uh, Sandstorm subsided. Or do we bring in T... Do we bring in T-Tar again? Because, like... Tyranitar. Because, like, on the one hand, we've got, you know, tur uh, the leftovers will destroy it. On the other hand, Focus Blast will, like, game end this thing. Yeah, it will, it will game end it. But he's got Rapid Spin. He's probably got the Earth Power Rapid Spin. I don't think he really has anything that hits. We got Ice Beam for the thing. He's still got the Uxie, which um, I want. I want to kind of keep the Uxie there. Uh, this again. This will reset my sand. He, he doesn't know I'm I'm Mold Excadrill yet, so he, he doesn't really know that entirely. So he might be thinking I'm trying to get that back in. Um, knock off. So he has four. It's four four. So we both are down two. Alright, let's see what we can pull out of win. Let's see if we can let's see if we can do what we can. Let's go, people! It is your move. I don't think he has body press on this thing. It's probably you spin Terra Starstorm? No, not Terra Starstorm, because that's only works for the, the terrestrial state. Um Ice Beam, I know he has Ice Beam generally. Maybe Stealth Fox? Okay, we shrug that. We shrug that. Knocked off the lefties. Yeah, at this point, um, it's just click knock off. Uh, not click knock off. It is. Yeah, Rotom Mo is still in play. Hydra, uh, not Hydrapple. Flapple is still in play. Um, I think I just click Ice Beam against anything at this point. Because no, he switches this thing out. Oh, he ice beams himself. Okay, where do you think I was going into? Yeah, we both have the ice beam in return. Uh, nice to beam you. Nice to beam you. All right, so he's still got a. So I know he. I, I know I outspeed his Azelf because his Azelf is not scarf. That is banded, which is good. So I do hold the speed edge. So he might also be wanting to try to stall out the sand. So that way, if I do have a sand, uh, if I do have Rush Excadrill, which he, again, he doesn't know that yet. Uh, but Flap, uh, yeah, uh, Flapple is probably, that is, is up. And that is probably going to be a U-turn right here. That's probably a U-turn aimed straight at me. I mean, if it's Thunderbolt, fair enough. But, well, Thunderbolt, Thunder Punch. 
Yeah, punch. Unfortunately, most of my stuff is vested, so that, that kind of means a little bit useless there. But I am I'm bringing in Torno Man. You turn. That was the right call. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure with his Rotom as like what it is, his max bulk. Sludge Bomb does do about fifty. Uh, does about forty-four percent. Rotom. He's he's trying to save. I'm. I'm yeah. He's. This is gonna be that. Um, I, I mean at this rate. Um, I don't really need... Yeah, um, I don't really need... Exca, I guess? I mean, Exca Drill is good, but I don't need it to the same degree. So I'm just gonna U-turn out of here. Uh, he's gonna probably Volt Switch. And... Yep. We switching out of here. Let's go back to me. All right. So the good thing is that if I bring in Excadoril, then I mean, if he burns me, I think I'm okay with that. Which is probably gonna go for for the the Willow. Pain split. Okay. Pain split. Interesting. Excadoril. I'm pretty sure at this point Excadoril. Yes. So he now knows I am Mold Breaker. I'm just gonna rapid spin because he may try to pain split again or Will O Wisp. Which I mean either again, either of them is not necessarily good for me. But we we figure out. Yep, Wisp. I would have liked to have gone Lum on Exca, but realistically I didn't think I needed it. But here's the good thing, he can't do anything to me now. Because, like, he's either Volt Switch, uh, Leaf Storm. Which, Leaf Storm... Does it even, even at Burn, I, I still do, like, 30% of his HP per hit. Which means he's probably gonna try and get in his, um, Flapple. Excuse me. Yeah, that's that's not doing a whole lot. Let me throw him, yeah. Yeah. Well, the good thing is now is that the, this thing is, is debuffed heavily. Uh, yeah, I think at this point. Yeah, at this point. Um. I mean, at this point, I think we just bring in Glaceon. Like at this point, we just go into Glaceon here, and Glaceon just does Glaceon things. Cause he's now debuffed. Uh, he can't switch in anything here. Rastalize into... Yeah, Ice Beam. We just click Ice Beam it against everything here. Because the only thing I think he can do is, like, maybe Ice Punch with Draw Dale. I probably should have gone into, like, Shadow Ball. But we're still... Bolt. We're still able to take stuff down. We're still able to take some hits. Take some hits, throw some stuff, and uh, do some stuff. Okay. Ah, uh, this, is, this is good. I like this match. This was fun. Um, Let's go Glaceon. I have been wanting to have Glaceon do some stuff for a while. Yeah, I, I only wanted to Terastalize because reasons. How much does this do? Okay. Yeah, we just we just click Ice Beam from here on out. Explosion. Is he going Explosion? Because if he does that, that's kind of a bit of a problem. Knock off. Okay. I mean, that doesn't really do a whole lot for all of us, but we, we take you back here. Um, there we go. Uh, right. We now hold the speed edge. Um, from, okay, the only thing he can do now is he can only click either Will-O-Wisp, or he can only click, uh, like, Pain, he's not gonna click Pain Split, but at least one more of that. Yeah. I'm thinking, let's see, um... Flapple. Um, Flapple. Yeah, Bleak Wind should one-shot this thing, but we need to go and check. Alright, I probably should have gone into Tyranitar there. And Lum, Lum would have saved me there. Well, I mean, Lum, not Lum would have saved me, but Lum, Lum would have been. Okay, so we did go for the Grab Apple. Alright. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Um, we did lose Glaceon, unfortunately. 
Ooh, what, are, what are his terrors he has on this thing again? I know he's got some terrors for this. I know he's got terrors on his, uh, his flapple. Um, yeah. I, I'm i thinking he's probably going to go into either Fire or Dragon. So... He doesn't have a way of hitting me. So I think we just go Bleak Windstorm here. He's probably going into... I'm, I'm assuming he's probably going to go into Steel, which means I probably should have gone, uh, gone into Focus Miss. But... Oh, fire! Okay. And that's a fairly smart call. Um, that's a, that's a very, very, very smart call. Frequent Storm. Okay. That's good. Dragon Dance. Ah, oh, we didn't get the speed drop. We sadly did not get that speed drop. But now he is plus one. Uh, I'm assuming Terror Blast. Yeah, he's Terror Blast. Yeah, that should not take me down. Um, I think it's the Sludge Bomb, I think, actually does take him down from here. Outrage. Oh, crud. <gasps> we do it! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Flapple is down. All right. Um... Now the question is, I'm fairly certain Tyranitar survives against the, um, the other guy. Yes, um... Yeah, Tyranitar against Rotom. I don't know how much a special attack this, guy, this Rotom's got, but I know it's a Volt Switch, Pain Split, Leap. Storm, Volt, Witch, Turn Tart. So, how much all this teach our left? 150. So, in Sand, Volt Switch does like nothing. Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm would actually take me down. And then. Well, actually, how much does. Well, no, wait, Tornadus, Sludge Bomb, well, no, a Leaf Storm into U-Turn. Yeah, he's at, like, what, 60-something percent? It's over, like, 60 percent, like that. Um, that would do enough. Yes, that should do enough. Yeah, that, that should... Because, like, the, the worst-case scenario here is that he takes out Tyranitar with Leaf Storm, and then I come in and I just Sludge Bomb him. So that way, I think we win this. But like, even if he Leaf Storms here, Volt, yeah, Volt Switch does... Yeah, Volt Switch doesn't do enough. He would need to hit the, uh, the Leaf Storm next turn. Um... Like, Le I mean, I, I don't get fancy... I, I don't get fancy. At least the bolt switch. Uh, I was hoping he would have gone into a. Um, I would have hoping he would have gone into a. Volt switch. No, thinking about going to switch a torn for a differential. But no. Okay, yeah. I think that I should be able to take this thing down. With. That because he's at what like a third I think, remaining. Yeah, I think he's at one third HP remaining. And I think Sludge Bomb should take this out. Let's hope and pray. Let's hope and pray. All right, we bring it home. Good game, Torn. Great game. That was a nerve-wracking match. After... What? Four, five, six. After four weeks, we bring back a win. Alright, so here is our team for week eight of the IBL. Yes, 
You are not mistaken, that is four AVs and two Choppleberries. That Archeladon terrifies me, and most of his team is specially offensive, so I wanted to kind of survive those hits quite well. The biggest physical threat he has is that Overquill, which that Overquill is a bit of a big worry, and also the Great Tusk. However, Latias does very well against that Great Tusk, same of the Tornadus. So wanting to survive and deal with that Archeladon is probably my biggest threat, and if I can get rid of that, we should be mostly fine. But as for Tyranitar, Rock Slide, that thing deals with the Enamorous quite well, just general reliable damage. We're still attacking on Ice Beam, because that will hit the Great Tusk. Uh, also, Earthquake and Ice Beam does well against the Archeladon, though Archeladon's a bit of a big problem. Knock Off, again, fairly useful. The Glaceon is Terra Ground this week. I went back and forth a lot on wanting Terra... Uh, not Terra Ground. On wanting Glaceon or wanting Rillaboom. The more I looked at it, the more I kind of just saw Rillaboom didn't really offer that much here. Its best matchup was the Great Tusk, but Great Tusk gets Ice Spinner, which rips up my terrain. And if he, I don't think, even if he doesn't run any bulk on that thing, it's not actually taking down the Great Tusk into its anyway, because again, the terrain gets removed, and then I, I lose Priority Grassy Glide. Though it would be most beneficial against the Overquill at Terra Water, but I think that the Volcanion actually does a good job of pressuring that out, and maybe he doesn't even go Terra Water, maybe he goes Terra Dark, or he goes, uh, is it Terra Dark or Terra Poison? I forget which one it is. Uh, that, or he just goes uh, Terra Fairy, which you, I could see the possible Terra Fairy. But Glaceon is there to basically go in and hit something with a Terra Blast Ground. Terra Blast Ground shreds Archaladon. I believe if Archaladon is AV, it will survive. But again, because we have AV, we can return that hit and do quite well. Excadrill is your fairly standard Excadrill. I opted Mold Breaker this week. Last week, I debated Mold Breaker, but this week it was... I mean, it would have been helpful last week. But this week, we opted for the Mold Breaker. This prevents him from switching in the Azelf and the Rotom Mo, as they're going to be eating an Earthquake. X-Scissor is there in the event he's maybe got an Ability Shield on either of them. And just again, reliable damage, you know, even more damage if we need it, depending on his bulk investment. The Rapid Spin is there for boosting up speed and getting rid of any Hazards. I don't really think he's going to be bringing Hazards, because I don't think Terrapagos gets Hazards. Uh, I need to go check that again, but I don't think it does. I don't think he's going to be bringing Hazards on our Chaladon. More likely I see it as an AV variant this week, or possibly Power Herb if he's not going to be able to get the rain up for it. Uh, Great Tusk, I don't think he's going to be running Rocks on it. Possibly Vest, but I don't think he's going to be running that for Tusk. You know, Azelf is really the only one that I see is possibly going to be tacking on the rocks. So, and even then, I don't really see Azelf coming this week. But Excadrill is there to basically just destroy things, and with Mold Breaker, I bypass Levitate, and I also bypass Terra Shell on Terrapagos. Meaning, I don't need to deal with that resisted hit, which is thankful. Volcanion is basically our standard Volcanion, meant to specially shrug off hits. This thing in Tornadus, I had to spend a lot of time calculating out surviving an Electro Shot from this thing. And uh, that's where basically most of the investment on these things are, in HP and Special Defense. The uh, Tornadus is made to outspeed the anything short of a Scarf on the Azelf. Uh, same of Latias, where Latias is actually there to outspeed the Enamorous, not really the Azelf, because can't outspeed the Azelf of Azelf with max speed. But Latias is there for type coverage and tech. Uh, I was going to be Haban Berry on the Latias, but I noticed, wait, I don't actually need Haban Berry to survive a Dragon Pulse. I might as well just go with Salt Vest, because even though I do take more damage from the Dragon Pulse, it also gives me better damage, uh, sort of buffer, against Enamorous. Which, I do outspeed Enamorous in, uh, not all cases, but in, in... I, I, I believe I outspeed a... Yeah, I think I, I, think I outspeed Modest Enamorous. Uh, not Modest. I think I do outspeed Timid Enamorous. Uh, well, Timid or Jolly, but likely if he's going to go Jolly, then he's not probably going to be running a fairy physical move, so... I don't know. We, we still fluff around and find out about that one. Uh, we should be able to deal with the Enamorous fairly well. We outspeed again unless it's a Scarf, and we have Ice Beam Thunderbolt for bulking coverage. That works well against most of his team. The Mist Ball, I believe, should one-shot Great Tusk unless he's very, very heavily specially defensive, or uh, HP and Assault Vest. And this Mist Ball is also quite good in case he is switching in our Chaladon, and I potentially get that special attack drop. But with all the debuffs, that kind of worries me. You know, maybe land the Bleak Wind Storm on the Tornadus kind of worries me that maybe if we get a bad, well, buff, well, debuff, but buff against an Amorous, that could be a bit of a problem for us. Uh, Tornadus is you know, standard or fairly techy. 
Normally, I don't like going Bleak Wind Storm, but originally this was actually going to be Hurricane because with his team having Politoed, in rain, both Bleak Wind Storm and Hurricane are perfectly accurate. So I don't really need to deal with that poor accuracy. You know, when dealing with those, which is kind of a useful thing. I opted for the Bleak Wind Storm as the speed drop can be a little more beneficial than the Confusion, even though Hurricane has a little bit more power. Also, outside of rain, there is 10% more accuracy on Bleak Wind Storm than Hurricane, so it was a bit of a calculated risk. Speaking of calculated risks, Focus Blast. I've been wanting to bring Focus Blast Horn for a while. This will do to a non-vested, non-bulk boosted Dur uh, Archaladon, which I can see, you know, high special attack Archaladon and high defense Archaladon, so really not as much physical defense, because it's getting body press, which would hit the Tarantar, and also the and the extra, which is the only way of actually hitting the extra throw. But Focus Blast will do, I believe, like 82% at minimum, if he's not bulk invested, to like 97%. So if I can land that Focus Blast, that will completely flatline that Dur uh, the Archaladon unless he is either AV, Specially Defensive, or uh, Chobbleberry. But I think more likely he's probably going to be going for maybe a Chocoberry on the thing, because I do have a lot of ground-type moves. And also, uh, Orisir from Latias does about, I think, what, 50 to 60, 55 to, I think, like, 64%. So, the Archaladon is really the big problem. I was debating on going Dragon Pulse on Latias, as with uh, enough special attack investment. It actually does about the same dam- uh, not about the same damage, it does a little bit less than Aura Sphere, but I opted not to go for that because Fairy-types will be immune to that. Of course, the Enamorous and the potential Fairy Terra on the Overquell. Plus, Dragon doesn't really get me anything against him, since, you know, Mist Ball I want anyway for the special uh, special attack debuffing and the psychic damage onto Rick Tusk. Uh, uh, Bolt Beam coverage is just good, reliable coverage. And then my other coverage move up. The Aura Sphere just, it hits the Archaladon much harder. But this is going to be a bit of a risky week. I will uh, see then. Really the only thing that Dragon Pulse would help me against is the Aze Elf, and I don't really see the Aze Elf coming. But who knows? We will uh, we'll find out.